Yeah. June is Pride Month, and today we are going inside the gates of Joint Base San Antonio to visit with a military training instructor who's breaking down barriers and trying to build a bridge of diversity and inclusion within the Air Force. In this week's Front and Center, our Jonathan Cotto follows up with the Air Force's first transgender military training instructor almost a year later to learn what's changed in the last 12 months. This is Brandon Rodriguez, a San Antonio native and a military training instructor at JBSA Lackland. We met with Rodriguez almost a year ago to learn his story and his role as the first transgender MTI in the United States Air Force. And since then, a lot has happened. You know, a lot of hard work on the line with trainees. 11 months ago, we learned Brandon was actually born Brandy. He shared with us the challenges and obstacles he had to over... Military training instructors, those things um, sometimes can be looked at in a negative light, but ultimately I found that it's all been looked at in a positive light. So I was nervous and anxious at first. Uh, however, I've learned that it's, it's actually been overall very positive. Rodriguez says opening up about being transgender has even had a positive impact on his airmen. They actually are very supportive and they have family, they have friends, they have people that they're related to, people that they know and generally want to know, hey, if I run into somebody like you in the future, how do I make them feel comfortable? That's what I've experienced since then. His story even catching the attention of the Undersecretary of the United States Air Force. I came to work one day, uh, was shortly after the, the interview with you and I thought this was like all done and said, and I have this email in my email inbox that's, that's from Colonel Karndoff. It was one of her schedulers, I believe. And this says, the Undersecretary of the Air Force would like to speak with you. And I'm like, huh, oh, okay. Rodriguez was flown to Arlington, Virginia for the homecoming gala. He had a chance to meet and speak with the Undersecretary about several items like his experiences, BMT, and gender integration. Such a rewarding time, and I, I look back at it and I, I can't help but smile because Undersecretary of the Air Force, the highest person in, in my Air Force chain of command that I've ever met, and she wanted to talk to me. You know, she wanted to know my experiences. He says after a long period of waiting, his scheduled surgical procedure has been moved up, and Walter Reed Medical Center will be overseeing the operation. I've been waiting for six years for this particular surgery, and. Uh, it's not anybody's fault or anything like that. It's just some red tape that we have to cross. He says he's not nervous for the surgery, but is anxious. I'm ready to complete this journey so that I can help people from my full self, my full perspective, and who I know myself to be. His surgery is set for the end of July. Reporting front and center, Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.